These are pictures taken over the years of the Blakely family. They were accumulated by Laurie Stenick, who didn't put them in any particular order, and some have identification and some do not, so this is an attempt to help people understand. The first pictures are Old Beechwood. The one you're seeing now is when the fire happened and the original building burned. After that, the Beechwood we know today was constructed. Here's another after the fire picture. And coming up are some of my favorites. They were taken by a professional photographer, I think for publication in a newsletter, and uh, I mean a newspaper. So that's Beechwood is located at 116 Beechwood Road in Southport, Mitchell, Kentucky. House was built probably about 1914, the second house. Coming up, you'll see a picture of wagon load of people. Among the people are Jane Ashton as a child, and the older lady at the left is her grandmother, Sarah Scott Richardson. The next pictures are the Blakely children, the children of um, Stevens and, I can't think of his wife's name all of a sudden, anyhow, you'll find it, Jane. They're the children. Jane is in the middle, of course. On the far left is Stephen, who was killed in an accident. This picture was taken in Cardone. You see Jane Ashton and Aunt Sue, another Cardone picture. I'm not sure who the child coming up is. Uh, I have no idea. That could be Stevens Blakely. Effie Ryan was an ancillary member of the family. And here is a picture of Aunt Sue, who very much didn't like to have her picture taken and always X'd it out if she possibly could. This is a Blakely, Joseph Blakely. He was a, uh, I forget what he was, he was a priest. And here's Paul Lendrum Blakely, also a priest. He was Jesuit, editor of America Magazine. The next people are the Houghtons. We don't know for sure, but we highly suspect that's who they are. Done a lot of research on that. They would be a member of the family before James Blakely. And there is some more family. Here's James Blakely. He is. Uh, the oldest, not the, the farthest back we've been able to go with the Blakely. Here's James and his wife, uh, Sarah. James was in business, and one of the things he did was pottery, which was located at East Liverpool. And here come some more of the children pictures. I think their names are on there. And here are the children as they got older. John, Steve, and Jane Ashton. Here's Jane Ashton, First Communion at Cardone, and some more of the children in front of Beechwood. The next picture is Jane Ashton taken at Pasigrill, Florida. They came down in 19, yeah, 1918 to get away from the ep epidemic that was sweeping the country. And she and her mother came down on the train, and we have some letters of theirs here. She caught a fish at Passagrill. Several fish, as a matter of fact. And there is Jane Ashton with one of her good friends from Cardone. Another Cardone picture coming up. And Jane Ashton Blakely on the front porch at Beechwood. And here is Jane Ashton with uh, Stevens, her firstborn. Another one with Stevens. The color picture coming up was taken at Cardome, and it's the entire family. And it happened to be that it was the day we landed on the moon. We all watched that on television, uh, sitting on the porch at Cardone. 
The next picture is Margot Gee, young Steve, and Jane Ashton when we went home to Beechwood. This picture is the garden party that was given at Beechwood some years later. And this one was taken at Bon Appetit on the occasion of Mother's Day. Jane Ashton's birthday. Jane Ashton on the cruise that we took just following her birthday. The official Blakely portrait. Laurie, Jane Ashton, Susie, and Steve. This is Paige's wedding. This picture is of Jane Ashton holding John's daughter. Christmas at Dolphin K with Annette and Jane. Jane's 90th birthday dinner. Easter at the Don Cesar. Susie's wedding when she married Dave Purdy. Jane and Steve. Pictures of Jane taken by her son Steve. Back at Cardone. The Garden Party Assembly. Jane, First Communion again. Another Garden Party picture. Jane playing poker. Jane with her great grandson, Stephen. Four generations there. This was at the Florencia. Jane and Paige at the Florencia. Jane and Margot at the St. Pete Yacht Club. Jane, Derby Day, most unusual julep. We had to use mint jelly. We didn't have any mint. Easter picture. Not sure what that is. That looks like it might be the Ruffner Madonna. Jane with her great-grandson. Paige and Jane coming up. Some more Jane pictures. And here comes a series of Jane's wedding pictures. She is shown leaving uh, Beechwood. Jane sitting on her father's lap, lap at Beechwood. Jemima Fortune Blakely.
John Buckner Lindrum. It's through him that the relationship to George Washington goes back. Here's a young Jane. John Simpson Blakely, brother of James. This is Jane Blakely. Jane Pyatt Blakely. Not sure who that is, but it's written, so perhaps somebody can find it. Here's a formal portrait of Jane Pyatt Blakely and her children. Here's Jane back with the children at Passagrill. Jane and Stephen spent their honeymoon at the Greenbrier in West Virginia, and these pictures were taken there. This is the old bridge, and you can see the original beechwood, the one that burned in the background. Another picture of the original beech wood that burned. I think the two trees you see there probably are the ones that are still standing. Jane Pyatt Blakely. Jane Pyatt Blakely with her son John. That woman is the one who was married to Sebastian Wimmer, Lavinia Blakely. This is Lily Hudson Lindrum. Lily Hudson Lindrum again. Lily and Elizabeth at Cardone. Lily Jane John. Lily Hudson again. Here's Laurie John Blakely as a young man. A little older. And yet again, a little older. Laurie John Blakely. And here comes an older Laurie John Blakely with his daughter in law. Um, Jane Pyatt. Here is Laurie John Blakely in his office. He was a newspaper editor. More Cardone pictures coming up. Laurie John Blakely's family. Stevens Blakely is the tall one in the back. Laurie John, people said he looked like Mark Twain, and he said, yes, I use his picture to shave by. Office picture. A 
another Laurie John Blakely. Laurie John Blakely is a young man. Laurie John. Or Laurie John. By now you're starting to recognize these people, I'm sure. The map is Covington, Kentucky, showing roughly where the Blakeleys grew up. These are cousins. Another cousin. The next two are Paul Lindrum Blakely. He was the Jesuit priest, editor of America. The two sisters and Paul. Oh, that's the whole family. The one in the middle is um, uh, geez, their younger brother, Laurie. She married um, Stevens Blakely after Jane died. Here's the Ruffner Madonna, which I believe Steve has. That's Sebastian Wimmer. He was married to Lavinia Blakely, famous engineer who built many bridges in Mexico. And here comes Jane and her grandmother, Sarah Scott, Sally Scott Richardson. The next two are Sarah Blakely. We think she, her maiden name was Houghton, and she's married to James. It was she and James who brought the children to America about, oh, 19, 1814 or so. There's Stevens Blakely Woodruff with his dog. And there he is, all grown up. And there's the traditional baby picture. We call this American Gothic. This was the occasion of the garden party we were cleaning up. And here comes a picture of Beechwood with a car full of cousins, and Jane Ashton is among them. The next picture is taken at the Greenbrier when Stevens L. Blakely and Sally, I mean Jane, Pot, Jane Pyatt were on their honeymoon. World War I picture, I don't believe he was ever sent overseas. Well, it looks like perhaps he was because there he is with the Belgian Consul. Council.
Laurie Blakely, Lily Lindrum, and the children. He ran for city attorney, I believe. He must have been successful because he, there's, it, with uh, his wife Jane, military uniform, Stephen L. Blakely. Stephen L. Blakely in his office. Stephen L. Blakely holding his grandson, Stephen Blakely Woodruff. Stephen L. Blakely. Again, you're probably starting to recognize these people. And there are some duplicates here. He was active in, Stevens L. Blakely was active in politics. And there he is with his wife, Jane Pyatt Blakely. The family at Beechwood. Stephen L. Blakely in the Law Library. Stephen L. Blakely and Jane Pyatt Blakely, their wedding day. I don't know who these next two are. They were cousins. Two pictures of Aunt Sue. We think this was the daughter of, uh, there's Aunt Sue before she entered the convent. Another picture before the two girls entered the convent. 